I really didn't want to have to make this video, but you guys asked me to. Because in our last video, our top comment was from the Stray Warrior saying that they want us to get to round 100 with any gun, but every time we go down, we have to make a YouTube apology video. So that's what we'll be doing today. And since we can use any weapon I want, I went ahead and picked the XM4. And they also said that we can upgrade any skill of my choice by two tiers. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Shatter Blast to tier two. I haven't upgraded any ammo mods yet until now. But before we get into it, if you want to leave any weapon upgrade or challenge suggestions, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. Recently, I've been really liking these challenges because of course they're challenging as the name would suggest but I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with them. Like the Garfield challenge was just stupid and goofy and I could just do whatever I wanted within that realm. And I really like this YouTube apology challenge. I feel like it's a, it's a really goofy way to get through a round 100. But there's also the chance that I don't go down like at all. And if that does happen, I'll probably just do all the apologies anyways. But... You know, there's, there's still a chance I could go flawless on this. I haven't done a Mauer round 100 in a minute. But as I started recording this, some pretty exciting zombies news came out. Again, manage your expectations. This is one trailer, but the Modern Warfare 3 zombies trailer came out today. And it showed like uh, a, a group going into a city or something and looking for some like aether uh, what i'm assuming is aether and like a vial and it looks like it's uh you know years and years past cold war obviously cold war takes place in the 80s and modern warfare is going to be you know in modern times so around like 40 years since then kind of crazy but in the trailer when they find the the aether vials it looks like there's weaver there sitting at the table dead so we don't know how he died but it looks like there's a few other people at the table too could be other people from requiem or just you know a new team that weaver was putting together that did not work out so kind of jarring to see like an old weaver and just be completely dead but we see that like the outbreak zones that have been contained in cold war after you know the what takes place in the forsaken easter egg looks like they're starting to come back a little bit uh, with help from the, the group that stole the vials. I honestly don't know who the group is. I'm probably missing some big character there. But the group going in to contain it, they showed some people in a helicopter going into one of the containment zones. And one of them was Ravenoff, an older Ravenoff, and it looks like he's going to be an operator for it. So I'm really hoping that we have like a set crew that you go into zombies with. I mean, I don't know how it will work considering it's going to be like multiplayer and there's going to be a, a bunch of other teams going into the, the outbreak zone. But it looks like in some way Ravenoff's going to be involved, which is really cool. And it looks like he's still out there kicking it, even though he's old at this point. Unfortunate for Weaver though, RIP my boy. But like I said, I'm still managing my expectations for the mode. I don't expect it to be anything crazy, but at least story-wise from this first trailer, it looks like it might be decent, like a decent little narrative piece leading us into the next Treyarch game. Because I remember with Vanguard, everybody got really hyped when the trailer came out for that because it actually looked really good. Visually, Vanguard still holds up as like one of the better looking COD Zombies games, but we still haven't seen like any gameplay of it. We don't know how the mode's really going to work up until then. I'm keeping my expectations at a minimum, and I think you guys should as well. But I did get a little tingle in my tummy seeing Rabinov and Weaver in them. I, I just really want to see more of this, like, Cold War story, you know, expanded upon in these next, like, zombies installments. Oh, oh, 10 health there. Almost had to make an apology video before round 10. We're playing a little fast and loose right now. Uh, let's try not to get hit by the toxic gossip train over here. We don't need none of that. But honestly, I don't think I've ever high rounded with the XM4. And when I was getting leveled up, it was kind of a pea shooter. And I was regretting my weapon choice, but I was in too deep. I already started getting levels for it, so... We have to go through with it and we got to start getting our ARs done at some point. And that's mainly the reason why I decided to upgrade Shatter Blast for today. Because I need something to give me a little extra damage going into this. Because we, we got to get this Dark Aether or or Plague Diamond or, or Gold Viper. No, we're not about to go down right now. Not yet. But I feel like we're going to get this weapon done somewhat soon into our uh, run here. And I still want to do some damage at you know, to get through these rounds a little faster. And we're already struggling pretty early into this. But we got our fuses and we got power on. Just one small step towards our uh, round 100 run. Now let's go ahead and rev up Pack-A-Punch here. And I say this every time we're on the map. 
but still one of the coolest pack-a-punch startup sequences. I just really want Treyarch to cook on their next game because their visuals have been on point. I just need them to combine that with some more like Cold War type gameplay on some nice maps, maybe maps more similar to Mauer. So we have a little more of uh, an ambiance to it and aesthetic. And then zombies is fully back, baby. That's all we need. MW3 is just going to be a warm up, a little teaser. And then the Treyarch game after it, I'm really hoping it goes crazy. I need some more zombies in my life. But now we got pack a punch. Let's go ahead and grab pack one. I won't be grabbing shatter blast until after we get all of our camos done. Because as much as I like it now, it's like the best ammo mod in the game. That really takes away so much camo progress from you. Especially when it's like fully upgraded and it just starts popping off after like every other shot. It's kind of crazy to keep up with. And I'm debating whether or not I should just build Klaus. Because I feel like once we get closer towards like health cap, using just the XM4 isn't going to cut it. So I want to get Klaus. That way I can get the black light from the locker. And then we can go ahead and grab our Cerberus and just keep that in our back pocket until we're just ready to fly through rounds. Oh, and since the pans are just spawned, we might as well start getting the parts for them. Where are you at? There you are. Well, let's see if we can take you out without perishing. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Why don't you follow me up here? Go ahead. Come on up. Ring of fire. Lele, I will be taking that battery. And now that we got that, I think we just need to throw brain rot on this and head up to the hotel. All right, who's going to be our lucky zombie to go ahead and bust open this door for me? We got a winner. Go ahead and break that open. Thank you, zombie. Appreciate the help. And let's go grab Klaus's hands off of the kinkiest man in Germany. God, I wish I was him. Someone had a bad day. And I don't mean the dead guy. I mean the poor robot who lost his hand. I'm with that peck. That guy must have been having a great day. They definitely did not build Klaus to kill zombies. He was made for other purposes. And it just so happened that he was pretty decent at killing zombies. All right, let's go see what that rascal Klaus is up to. Now that he's got a, a battery in hands. This is kind of what it feels like to eat without YouTube. The way Klaus is chained up here. But come on, Klaus. Let's go ahead and open up this little locker. Like, how many sexual innuendos does this game have to have with Klaus? Considering that you have to use him to get a black light. Don't make this weird, Requiem. Oh, I'm going to make it plenty weird, Peck. We're going to find cum. Let's see if we can find our numbers for the safe. First number is eight. Second number is four. So eight, four. Eight, four, 26. Hey, look at that. Found a little bit of me on the wall. So let's try it out. Eight, four, 26. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. It worked. Now we got a nice little weapon to high round with later. And right now, because I'm kind of just the fucking man and I haven't gone down at all, I'm thinking by time I have enough to get pack a bunch three, if I haven't gone down, I'm going to turn on the rampage inducer. Now raise the stakes a bit here. And now I have 31,000 points. So let's go get pack three and turn on our rampage inducer. So there's pack three. We'll get a little weapon upgrade. Get it up to purple. Maybe some armor upgrades too. And let's turn this bad boy on. Okay, now let's see if we can survive down here with the rampage inducer going. I've had my struggles with power room in the past, but maybe today's the day that we get over them. Oh, there's our 1500 crits. We just need a thousand more of those and we're done with this gun. Actually, I think the rampage inducer is helping us out. We're just flying through these rounds now, flying through these crits. But we're gonna get a reality check once we hit round 30. That's where things start taking a turn. Or maybe we won't have to wait that long. Only 40 health. I'm trapped in a corner. Let's get out of it. Oh, we got a ring of fire though. Woo! A little close for comfort. Oh, it's starting to get wild in here. We got a panzer. There's a lot of shit going on now. <sighs> well, let me get into character real quick. I've made a serious and continuous lapse in my judgment, thinking I was good enough to survive down in power room. I'm not. I'm not. I really, I really use Ring of Fire as a crutch. If I don't have that, I'm dying every time down there. It doesn't matter what gun I'm using. My, my simple mind cannot comprehend training in a small area. The zombies beat me every time. And I'm sorry. You guys deserve a better zombies player. And I just, I just can't be that. Going down there was obviously unplanned. And what you saw was just our, my, my raw initial emotion to coming across going down in power room. I'll do better going forward.
I promise. All right, now let's get this shit out of here. And let's try to get back up. Come on. Any zombie want to go down for me? Any zombie want to go down on me? Where'd the zombie go that had no health a second ago? I know you're over here. There we go. I need to leave this room. We just burned all of our perks going down. So let me go ahead and try to get them back. Actually, you know what? I might just stay up here. Uh, but there's a panzer, so we might have to come back to it. I just got to be really fast buying these. Let's get this, 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 and this. And let's also get the fuck out of here. We almost got enough for Ring of Fire. We got it. I think we're good now. Go ahead and bring it on, zombies. Especially you. Sit down. All right, let's try going back down to power. That, that, that down was a fluke. We can still survive in here. Okay, it is getting a little bit crazy in here. We're going to let the room air out. Oh, there's our rotten camo. We're all done with our normal eliminations. And now we can come back in here. See, I just I just need to step out and grab a camo real quick. Now we're good to go. Even if it's just me 1v1ing a panzer in here. Bye, bitch. Oh, that nuke is a lifesaver. That was so clutch. Oh, fuck. Get on the decoy, please, please. No! Fuck! <sighs> hey. It's been a while since you've seen my face. I have been doing so well. So I took a break. Because some people are saying some things about me. That aren't quite true. But it doesn't matter, right? As long as it's entertaining to you. Toxic zombie train. Trying to survive in power, but I fucking suck now. Toxic zombie train. Running on the tracks of Mauer de Toten. Toxic zombie train. I fucking suck at zombies, so I keep going down. Yeah. Alright. Let's get back to business. There we go. All right, I think we can uh, safely say that power room is not for us yet again. I think I'll, I'll try my luck up here now. The Weenie Hut Jr. of spots on this map. Oh, there's our chemical camo. All we're waiting on now is crits. Oh no, again? I just, I just wanted to send my apologies to those of you that have been watching this game play. <laughs> We've been working right now on trying to get better at the game but i just i just keep going down man it, it it sucks it sucks man it sucks i just i just want to do better for you guys man just want to do better i know my fans out there man my fans my fans will just support me through anything and i love y'all even when i'm not doing good in zombies man y'all y'all ride for me and I really, I really appreciate it. We'll, we'll do better. Okay. Oh, we got right back up. Then you have to do anything. I'm already improving. I think Ring of Fire just picked us right back up. Oh, not again, dude. What the fuck? Pineapple, I have no idea how I'm going to make this video. All right, guys, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. But first and foremost, I just want to say... I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me and you always have and every day I get to wake up and chase my dreams because of you. Now my connection to being ass at zombies has been well known and documented. If you thought for a second that I was any good at this game, you're lying, you're wrong. I'm gonna sue you for defamation. And it's just flat out not true that I'm good at this game. Me being ass has been a matter of public record since my very first video in Cold War Zombies. However, I do wanna give an apology to those of you that feel like this has not been made clear enough. I just wanna have the opportunity to earn your trust back and play well in Zombies, even though I am clearly ass. But this is and always has been a clear gameplay flaw in all of my Zombies videos. If you thought otherwise, you're fucking stupid. That's basically how T Martin's apology went, right? Let's just hope I can uh, get a zombie killed so I can get back up, though. Uh, I got enough scrap to get back up if we need to use our self revive. Let's see if I can take the zombie out first. I am not doing nearly enough damage. Okay, I have to self revive here. 
That really sucks. But kind of wild how T. Martin like really got away with all that. And Syndicate was involved in that too. I'm surprised he came out basically unscathed. That was such a wild era. I was playing a lot of CSGO at the time. The whole CSGO lotto stuff happened. And I, I, I was on there a few times, you know, I was tossing a few skins into some coin flips. Definitely lost some money, but I would not as bad as some other people did. That was just a fuck situation all around. But I need to get a self revive back before uh, we have to redo this whole thing. Oh, and there's Gold Viper. We're all done. So now that all of our camos are done, we can finally break out the Cerberus and grind the next 70 rounds. But let's pack a punch this. Try not to die while we do it. Try not to die challenge. Maybe I should get the round down a little bit more. I'm jumping the gun. All right, now I think it's probably safe. So now our Cerberus is fully packed. Armor is restored. And I think now we're good to grind out 64 rounds. Let's hope we won't have to do many more apologies. We are on round 55. We've made it to health cap. And if we can complete this round, no more rampage inducer for us, which is unfortunate for the speed of this run, but it's been getting kind of tight up here. And we are all done with our Rampage Inducer. Oh shit, we went down again. What? I'm sorry I went down again. But I'm more sorry for anybody that uploads a zombies video where they go down. Because I've officially filed for a trademark for going down. If I see anybody out there uploading a video of them getting downed in zombies i'm sending a cease and desist immediately i am the one who popularized going down i am the one who invented going down and i'm the one who's the best at going down anyone else is frauds and they will be hearing from my lawyers and i'm sorry you're too stupid to understand how any of this works i'm not gonna lie i was running out of uh, youtube apology videos to parody that one's a bit of a deep cut. That was the fine bros. I was not expecting to go down this many times. Oh, -ho, let's fucking go, baby. The sex round, the coitus round, the intercourse round. Everybody's favorite and sex rounds over. Everybody stop having sex. Take the zip line. No. Oh, I took the zip line wall down. Whatever, dude. I've been made aware by the channel's HR department that my words and actions on round 69 were outright disgusting and deplorable. And I would like to apologize for what I've said. And in the future, I will not be saying those things on round 69. Mainly because we won't see round 69 again in this game. We're already on 70. There's no going backwards. But we got to try to get ourselves up here. Brain rot, get a kill, please. The brain rot zombie's just walking up behind the zombies and not doing anything. All right, well... There goes my self-revive. Let's try to grab some ammo and hopefully we can survive this round. Actually, we're doing all right. We're doing decent. Let's get out of here though. Uh, nope, we're going down again. I would like to take this time to apologize for uh, my gameplay here on Marauder Toten. I'm approaching, I think, seven downs and it is just completely unacceptable. For somebody who plays this game as much as I do, I, I, need to, I need to do better and I need to be better. Going forward, I will be taking training courses on getting better at zombies. That way we, we won't have an issue like this in the future. And, and to everyone out there that I've let down, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry, man. What I'm actually sorry about, though, is that we are in an extremely tough spot to get out of here. Our pistol's doing absolutely nothing. I don't know if I can actually kill a zombie while I'm down here. We're going to have to tombstone shadow. I think that's our only option. So let's do it. Oh, wait, we spawned right next to ourselves. Easy. Right back in it. Never a doubt in my head. Throw a nade. That should give me a ring of fire, but I went down the wrong way. Oh, fuck me, dude. All right. Well, we can make it through this. All we have to do is train all the way back around to the other rope. And it's actually going pretty easily. Okay, I think we're uh, in the clear. The zombies didn't really spawn too fast behind us either. So let's pop the ring of fire and hopefully this is the end of the round. Oh, let's go. Narrowly held on. Let me get some decoys and our self revive back and we're good to go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we're back up. Because I'm the greatest. But, uh... My bad. Oh, f not a fucking gen, dude. <sighs> My bad again. After doing nine apologies, I'm starting to run out of ideas. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Oh, we won't go down again is the thing. We'll just survive. Pretty easily, actually. But, uh, I'm very low on ammo. Let me grab that. We have no armor and no means to buy any. I bought a lot of cashmere's leading up to this and realized that was a mistake because they do not drop green scrap anymore on this hive around. Oh! No! 
Oh, that's the whole game. 10 downs, 74 rounds, ass. I'm sorry, guys. I know I let you all down. Only 74 rounds. When we're trying to get to round 100, that's pitiful. That's terrible. We should definitely be able to do better. But I guess today, I, I wasn't. And I couldn't. I just hope that you guys can find it in your heart to forgive me. And maybe next time, we'll, we'll be able to get it done. The next round 100 we do, we'll do it flawless. Maybe a down or two, but we won't lose like that. Sorry. Uh, but that's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.